it finally hit me. The reason why couples go through so many problems, it, it hit me, and it's not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons. There's a battle going on, a, a, a real life battle going on in, in, in a lot of the couples, in, in, in a lot of relationships. And the failure is recognizing the problem too late. See, we live in a society where we tell women not to expect anything less than the best. But the problem with that is if men are told the same thing, they're misogynists. So men aren't allowed to have major expectations or even the similar expectations that a female would have. And what tends to happen in relationships, and it's not always the case, but um, generally this is the situation, you have men not being able to live up to the expectations. And it's not really because... Um, they just can't. It's because women tend to be blinded by their expectations and not see the efforts their men put into the relationship. It, it came to me like a, a bomb. Like, we teach women that they are to be valued, which I agree. We teach women that they are to be um, put in the, the top list of priorities, which I agree. Um, but we don't teach a balance because when men are taught those same things, um, it's not a good thing. But when men also put their effort into a relationship, their effort a lot of times isn't recognized because of the women being blinded by their expectations. So a female would expect certain things and when the man is putting in effort because those expectations aren't met, um, they feel like, you know, my needs aren't being met because my expectations aren't being met and uh, he's not doing anything. But he's like, I'm putting all this effort in. I'm trying my hardest and I can't seem to please this woman. First thing is this. It's not up to men to, to please or make a female happy. That's not our role. You go to God to make you happy. You find happiness in Jesus Christ, not in, in, in men. That's one. Two, um, it's okay to have expectations. And in the beginning of the relationships, during the, the dating stage, you got to realize what your expectations are and whether or not he can live up to those expectations so that later on down the line, it'll save you guys from heartbreak. Because a good man who's not able to live up to your expectations but will put in 100% of the effort may still not make you happy because he's not meeting what expectations you've established. So, my encouragement to you guys, men and women alike, females and males, if you're in a relationship, understand what your expectations are in the beginning and realize the type of effort or the amount of effort that the other person is willing to put into the relationship. And please, oh please, um, I'm the type of person that thinks that effort supersedes expectations. Um, and that's only because the world doesn't revolve around you. Because you're in a relationship, the world still doesn't revolve around you. There are 7 point plus billion people on this planet. The world does not revolve around you. And as much as you would love this to happen... A man should not have his whole life revolve around you. Both you guys work together and live life together. That's what this is all about. It's about living life together and not having a man's life revolve around you. That's it. So my encouragement to you is to, even though you have expectations, don't overlook the effort that your man is putting into the relationship because you will never, ever be happy.